Alright, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Team Forge 1 here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. We're here in the village of Akari. We just were coming here to rest, and we're going right back to, across to the east to the to help helping the Shalai at least for the moment, helping the Shalai rebels. Against the uh against um, who are trying to recover the journal of their leader, who was Trajkov's assistant, who decided that Trajkov was going down a calamitous route. Because apparently these Shalai were a group of explorers who were out here supposed to be meeting people or something, making, and instead the, the, these Shalai are of the opinion that Trajkov is just endangering their whole project and gonna cut, bring down violence and animosity from the Shaper civilization on this Shalai civilization. Which is probably true. But on the other hand, maybe Trajkov isn't too worried about it. Maybe he thinks that the Gene Forge will afford him all the power he needs. I don't know. We'll come back there and clear out the rest of that way once we're down, done here. So we're going down to the dock ruins. These supposedly are full of rogues. This is the way of combat. Now we could go the other way, but I think guardians and and shapers alike are both suited for the combat approach because you know guardians obviously that's what they do and shapers because they have I mean, yeah themselves are kind of squishy and weak but their creations are powerful and in some sense i would say more powerful than guardian with and you know Guardian individually is very strong, but not compared to all these creations, I, I would say. On the other hand, you know, a Guardian can make some creations. They're, guardians are not bad at shaping, actually. The only ones that are bad at shaping are agents. They can still shape, but not very well. It's like Toons is driving. You can drive, just not very well. <laughs> you ever watch Toons is the driving cat? I think it was Saturday Night Live, I think, back in the day. Oh, that was a great skit. Probably, I don't know, it might be my favorite skit on ever in, Mis I'm not Mystery Science Theater, holy jeez, Louise. Uh, in Saturday Night Live, back when I used to watch it at all. <laughs> Come on. There's a lot of these dang guardian rooms here. They're only giving us five experience points, which is lame. We're just too powerful. Yeah. What's up here? Here. One. Check it out. Okay, so far so good. Everybody, oh, there's a, sh it's a servant mine. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. Hello, you. There's a dusty servant mine here. It's not dead. It's not asleep. It's not deranged. It does, however, look pretty stupid. One look at its dull eyes make you suspect that it wasn't too alert when it was first created. Shaper, I am Trome. Welcome to this area. It has been time since I received instructions. It doesn't seem to even have noticed its centuries of isolation. But what is your purpose? Servile? I think it's supposed to mean servant. What is your purpose, servant? I am looking after the docks. I admin, ad, admin. I look after this area. Well, what is around here? The docks are, it thinks, east. This area has inns, barracks, and a shaping post for your use and enjoyment. Holding one is east, holding two is north. Huh, how can I get to the docks? The gateway is to the southwest. Just ask the guards there, they'll be glad to let a shaper through. Huh, can you unlock any of the doors outside? No, but I have a key thing. I can give it to my supervisor. Oh, I have not made your supervisor. You have? Oh, I'm glad. I haven't had a supervisor for a long time. You hear a clicking noise in one of the cabinets. 
I'm the ranking. No, I don't know if I'm the ranking shaper now, but I'm the only shaper that's around, apparently. Because there's that Gish, who's an old shaper. He probably outranks me from Avodius completely, but we don't know where he is. So we're just going to overlook that. How long have you... Okay, what is your purpose? What exactly do you do? I... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that. How long have you been waiting for instructions? It blinks a few times. I... I forget. I think it has been a while. I don't know. Well, you know, he's in this room. And if he's not that smart to begin with, and he's in this room, and nothing is visibly changing. If you remember that one, that first servant mine we encountered, he was able to give us an estimate on how long it had been from the decay of his internal organs, which is, oh, wow. That'd be like me going, well, depending, uh, de by judging by how much arthritis I have right now currently in my joints, therefore, <laughs> what do you, do you know anything about why this island was abandoned? It was? Oh no, I'm all alone. Now I'm scared. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Calm down, little little dude. Do you know anything about the Gene Forge? Should I? Uh, probably not. Okay. Can you do anything about the rogues outside? There are rogues outside? I was wondering why it was so noisy. Oi! Oh, wow, your your tro is a, a brilliant young young young. Well, he's not young at all. Okay. What exactly do you do? That that. That's all. Thank you. All right. Well, at least we get that key. You open the case. Inside, you find two empty ceramic jars, some crumbled documents, and a large iron key. He's probably fed with that stuff. We got the docks key, because that's why he's still alive. And we got some living tools and an ensnaring crystal. Oh, boy! All right, thanks a lot, dude. I'll go get rid of the the rogue so you won't be... No, no need to be scared. Uh-oh, there's another one. There's a couple of them. There's probably a, I think there's a bunch of them here. All right, let's up. Just on chance that more of them come, we can continue fighting. Good job. Oh, that was lame. Good job. It's running all around. That's not going to save you. You will not escape. Good job, you stupid flesh. Alright, anybody else? No? Alright, well, not right now. Anyways. Nothing here. How about this gate? Can we get in here? With the key? Yes, we can. Inside. What's over here? Major healing spores and shielding spores. That's nice. How about this? You pulled the lever. Okay. What does that do? Anything? Nothing. It's not open. Something is opening. I don't know what. Probably have to go the long way. Okay, that's enough for that noise. Thank you. Icy crystals and ensnaring crystals. Again, if you were playing as a ranged fighter, using ranged weapons, those would be pretty useful because your ranged attack score affects the effectiveness of magic crystals. Get him. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Damn, yeah, it worked anyways. Uh oh. Get him. I need to stop doing that. Alright, cool. Where are we hearing that from? Or is the game just going crazy? I'm not going to even look at those thorns anymore. 
don't even care. Here's one. Die, you. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. Oh, man, okay, so speaking of that, I was looking at it the other day. Uh. Oh, oh, you missed. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Symphony of the Night on PS4, right? So I was like, oh, that'd be a fun game to do a playthrough of, because that's the classic, you know, that's one half of the original Metroidvania. Other being, of course, Super Metroid. But, and I, I love Symphony of the Night. I've beaten it a fair number of times, too, and it's just super fun. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a, it was the game that turned Castlevania from, you know, a challenging and, I don't know, not very fun, but very challenging, sort of like, you know, if you can beat Castlevania, you've got some good Nintendo gaming skills. Good for you, which is good. Okay, you, come up here. Oh my goodness, get out of the way. Out of the way, fools! Nope, nothing. Huh, wonder how we get in there. Oh! There's another one. But yeah, but Symphony of the Night made the game, albeit much, much easier. And some people say too easy. I don't know, they might be right. But it also made it a lot more fun, just generally speaking, and um, it was cool. Castlevania 4 was on Super Nintendo was also a really good game, I have to say. And I don't know. Anyways, point being, Symphony of the Night is just like a classic, and it is like part of what, it's part of the very basis of the Metroidvania genre. And so I was looking at it, he's like, that'd be fun to play, and I said, I have it on PS, I have my old PS1 copy of it, actually, which is really cool, but, you know, I also just bought it on PS3 one time, on PS Network, PlayStation Network, and, oh, let's have you go over here, refill your essence, this is what Tro told us about, a little shaping hall, alright, that's good. So we can heavily use his his support magic, and if we run out of essence, we can just refill right there. But yeah, and so I have it on that console, but I don't have actually a what is that a capture device like a Elgato or whatever. I should probably get one so I can record some of the games I have on PS3 because I have a lot of PS1 games and a few PS and some PS2 games as well on my P PS3's, you know, and it's really pretty cool. So I was looking on PlayStation 4, and they have, you know, that it's like the, I think it's called the Requiem Edition, and it has, you know, Symphony of the Night, and Rondo of Blood, I think, which is cool. And I, I, I've heard that there's a fair number of upgrades and whatnot, what have you. And I think it's based on the version that was on the PSP, which is cool. But one of the problems that you are like me with that is that they changed the voice acting, entirely new voice acting in the English. And I understand it doesn't even have the Japanese. I don't care about that. I don't listen to the Japanese voice acting because um, I don't speak Japanese. I have never pretended to. And Castlevania is set in a more or less fake Romanian setting. That has nothing to do with Japan. I'm not saying they can't make those games. I'm not saying, oh, they're stealing Eastern European culture. No, I'm not saying that. But I am saying is that I have no reason to want Japanese subtitles, or I mean, dialogue in that. But the English dialogue, so I can actually understand it, I like the old one. It was, yeah, it's kind of campy. Kind of like a really, like a fun B-movie. You know, the whole, ugh. And so I've played it for years with that. And it, But it's like, instead of like, you know, Die, monster, you don't belong in this world. It was not by my choice that I once again had given flesh. I was called here by humans. 
No pretence to pay me tribute. Tribute! You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. And da 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 da. What is a man and all that? Just so great. Ill needs a savior such as me. And all that. Just, ah, oh, that's classic. And it's so fun. I freaking love it. And a lot of other people do too. But apparently not everybody. Some people are like, I like the new... And instead of Alucard being like, you know... I am Alucard. This creature is a castle. This castle is a creature of chaos. It can take many in carnation. So then I can't trust my memories. You know, that. Instead of being like that, he's a castle a creature of chaos. Mother! He's like, oh yeah, hi, I'm, I'm, I'm Alucard. I'm like, whoa, okay. And then, yeah, and he calls it death. Hey, old man. I'm like, what? Come on. Get out of here with that. That's nonsense. Don't like it. The script is, like, definitely, like, seems, like, modernized to the point of being dumb. And it's like, oh, my goodness. And I really hated it. So I was like, well, that so much for that idea. I will have to wait till I can get a, <laughs> a capture card for my PS1. PS2. Oh, sorry, PS3. I'm really kind of... I like how, like, the PS3, even though it's not backwards compatible with PS2, unless you have that, you know, that one version of it, which I don't. It's still backwards compatible with PS1 games, like physical ones. But the PS4 is not, which is kind of lame. I love the PS4, it's a great system. But that's kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. <sighs> it seems like Xbox, which, I mean, I have an old Xbox, but well, I didn't have an Xbox back in the day, but I have an old Xbox I bought, you know, a few years ago, so I could play a few um, games that were available on it that, that weren't available on PS2 that are, you know, con I mean, that are, what do you call that? PC games that are, but that I can't play on my computer. Especially back then, I couldn't. <laughs> but like, I have like, you know, KOTOR, and KOTOR 2, I have Morrowind, and I have uh, Republic Commando, that's Star Wars Republic Commando. And I had, like, was it the Lotus or, oh, what was that game? It's a Bioware RPG set in like a mythical version of China, basically. It's kind of like, it's kind of like KOTOR, with, only with Kung Fu Warriors instead of Jedi and Sith. It's really pretty cool. Okay, why am I not able to get into these? That is a interesting question. Not really, actually it's a pretty boring question, but I'm going to call it interesting for the sake of having something to say. Well, let's go this way. Maybe we can figure it out in here. Ah, yes. There we are. Maybe. Haven't had much luck with levers recently, but we do here. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do we get? What do we get? Cure effects. Okay, well, let's see at our our abilities. So now we have cure effects level two. That's actually that's not that exciting, but it's actually pretty useful. Venom baton, acid baton. Well, let's take them. There's venom thorns, acid thorns, submission. Let's take the submission thorns. Don't care about the others. Oh wow. Okay, shape gauntlets, fine cloak, a steel breastplate, a studded belt, and big deal. I think we're overburdened now by a fair bit. Oh wow, we're super overburdened. And there they are. Oh come on. Hi. Gotcha. We're not going to be able to do much supporting in battle. We're so overloaded right now. But our creations can handle these stupid uh, guardian helpers. Yeah. Woohoo. I think guardian roamers have ceased to be really a threat. You remember when we fought them in the, what was it? Uh, the Servile Warren. They were actually pretty annoying. When I played it as a solo guardian, they were even more annoying. A solo no canister guardian. That was very annoying. The the 
the Guardian rumors in the Survival War. But now we're, we've gotten to the point where they're not hardly. Oh, jeez. Huh, I spoke too soon. Giath. Giath. Okay, well, a named battle bait. Battle Alpha is never a. Something to take lightly. He doesn't seem too tough, though. He may still hit hard, though. Come on, everybody. We're all gonna gang up on Gath. Does he have a ne uh, name tag? How do we know his name? Oh, jeez. Wow. What a chomp. Do you see that? Bit him like crazy. That, that, that's, that sounded like it hurt. Chitin armor. Or chitin armor. Alright. Got a gemstone. What is here? East, the docks. North is cause. North, holding two. Alright. Let's actually save. I haven't saved for a bit. This looks like the the way out of here, but let's yeah let's see what's. It looks like we haven't done gone everywhere yet, but okay. How come I can't open these doors? Oh, I already went there. I see. I see. Never mind. Ah, the dock ruins can be crossed freely. Let's just go here, then we'll go back. Ah, see. Hmm. different routes. Interesting. Well, let us... Let's go right here. I think we went up. We went up this way instead of this way. So let's try going this way. Ah, yes, we can. Aha. Uh -huh. I think we can. The contents of this small hall of records have rotted away. Oh, we could have gone in another way, too. <laughs> Didn't see that. One living tool to open, or one use of our unlock spell. Oh, it's just Shaper Records. Big deal. Big deal. Eh. Oh, wait. Maybe there's something here. Living tool. Well, you get your living tool back if you had to use it. Although, if you didn't put so many points in mechanics, it might have cost more than one living tool. I don't know. Okay, well, let's see. Any... Anything else to go do here? Any other places to go? Let us... Actually... There still could be some Guardian Roamers hanging around. Anything? Anybody? Anybody? I don't think so. I think that's everybody. Alright, well then let's go. I think we're we're done. We need to go to town and sell. Now, I don't think the takers will turn on us. Because, I mean, I don't even know if they turn on you at all, but we haven't actually done anything against them. Yet. <laughs> or their allies, yet. We haven't, just because we agreed to help the rebel shall I, doesn't mean we actually have Yes, this is still friendly. Let's sell stuff here. Because they have lots of money. Hey, money bag survives. But yeah, so, I don't know. Like I was saying, I, I, I was like kind of disappointed. I, I have played that game so many times. It's kind of like the an experience now. All together combined with the old voices, I really like them. Only thing that, you know, has changed that perhaps is fine <laughs> in the newer versions is the, the end credit song, I Am The Wind, being gone. That song sounds so, so 90s-ish. <laughs> it never really fit into that game, but I kind of still like it being there just because it has been, but it, yeah, it's ridiculous. And I heard that the copyright of that song expired for them so they can't include it but I don't know if that's true or not icy crystals we don't want them those those
lose. This. 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 Okay, he has 400 gold. 427 gold left, so all these crisp jewels, crystals, whatever. Bamses. I think. I think we have a pair of shaped gauntlets at the other place, but let's check. They're at Thackeray. We will check. Alright, cool. So let's actually go to Vacary and deposit stuff. Vacary, here we come. They're like, yay! I don't know. I don't know if things are. I still don't know if things are going to go well for any of these serviles. Actually, I do know the answer to that. I've played these games. I've never actually beaten Team Forge One though. I've gotten a long, long ways. I think almost to the end, but I've never actually beaten it. So this will be the first time I've ever beaten it. I've seen a uh, complete playthrough of this. I think I mentioned it before at one point. A dude named Bormac on his channel. He has a complete playthrough of Team Forge One through Five. The whole series that is and yeah i've seen his playthrough of gene forge one which is pretty good i don't know i like his playthroughs of gene forge they're pretty cool all right well thank you for joining me on this episode of my let's play of gene forge one here on my channel idle wisdom take care y'all